Hey, I'm going to show you how to do this poncho or sweater for a dog. Is This is for the size of a chihuahua. It's a small dog. My dog is a chihuahua, so I made this her size. So we're going to start with the neck first. And for that, I'm going to chain 35 because it's the size of her neck. So if you want to do for a bigger dog or medium or, or large dog, you just need to measure their neck to see how many chains you're going to need. And just don't make it too, too tight for their neck. Just make it a little bit loose. Okay? So we're going to get started. So I'm going to chain 35. Okay, I have 35 here. And we're going to close the circle with the slip stitch. And the first chain we did. So this is trying to have it very straight, the circle. Okay. And then we're going to do half crochet all around. And chain one first, and then we're going to do half crochet all around. So go to the next chain. So it's going to look like this. So go ahead and finish all around until we get here where we started. Okay. There, I already finished my circle. That's how it is. That's the way it should look. Now for that, I did 12 rows all around to make it thick. You can make it as, maybe you can make it less thicker than that. You can do less um, rounds by the 12. So I'm going to be doing the same thing all around. And we're going to be doing, again, half a chain. Go, so it will be like front pulls like this and then again I'm going to do that to each of the chains we did so we're going to be doing front pulls you're going to go all around doing the same It will look like this. So you just go ahead and go all around. And I did, like I said, I did 12 rows. You can make less, you can make more, depends how the neck is from your dog. So I did 12 rows for the shoe size of a chihuahua. Okay? Okay, I'm right here. I'm my last row. And
And right here, we close with the slip stitch. So now we have part of a neck. So now, like, I this is for sure why it's so I'm using a very small hook. And um, if you're using, if you're doing a size for a large dog, it means you can use a, a thicker or bigger hook. So I'm just using a small one because it's small, and if I use a big one, it will come out like too big. The stitches. Okay, so now we did the neck part. Now we're just gonna fold it in half like a donut like this. And we're just gonna go with single crochet all around. So we're just going to do single crochets, okay? And we're going to close them. Stitch from the inside. And just single crochet, we're going to go all around. Okay, we're going to be doing single crochet all around. To close it is Okay, so I already closed the circle. It will look like this. Now we're gonna start doing the shells. Okay. So I'm gonna chain one and then I'm gonna skip one chain and you can see. Gonna skip one chain and I'm gonna make five double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And then on the next chain. We're going to make a single crochet. So we have a shell like this. Now we're going to skip one chain and go to the next. And we're going to do the same. Five double crochet. Then the next chain we single crochet like this. So for that we're gonna have to do this one, two, three, four, five, six, eight shells. So we're gonna do eight shells. So right now we have two and we're gonna do So we need six more shells. Remember, skip the chain, go to the next and do five double crochet. This. 
Okay, so go ahead and do the eight shells. Okay, I already have here my eight shells, so it will look like this. Now to go up there, we're gonna turn our work around, and we're gonna do three single crochets. So it'll be. One, two, and three right on top of the shell on the middle. And we're gonna do, we get chain two, and we're gonna do a double crochet here in the middle of these two shells. So we're gonna do a V. Do a V, one double crochet, chain two. Another double crochet in the same chain two, and we're gonna do single crochet right on the top of the shell. So it will look like a bit like this. Again, we're gonna chain two. Two double crochet in the middle of the two shells. And then chain two, and chain two, and one single crochet on the top of the shell. It will look like this, like a V. So you're gonna do all these until we get here at the right at the end of the shell. Okay, we're right here in the last shell, and we're gonna do a single crochet on the top of the shell. Okay, then now, that's the way it will look. We're gonna turn our work around. And right here, you know, we have our B here. That's where we're gonna do our shell now. So, So we're going to do five double crochet in here. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. And right here where we have our single crochet, that's where we're going to put our single crochet. And I close it like this. Again, we have our B here. This is where we're going to put our double crochet. So we're going to do five to form our shell. And again, right here where we had our double, our single crochet, this is what we're going to so now we have two shells. So that's what we're going to be doing all around until we get here. Okay. Okay, so I'm here on my last V here. I'm going to do my five shells. Five double crochet. And I'm just going to connect it in my shell here. Now the next, the other um, row is going to be the same. You're going to do the, the V and right in the middle here. So we're going to go to the third, this one, two, right on top of the shell. And then we're going to chain two.